Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. We are witnessing the menu of Super Meat Boy on this episode. And uh, here on the bottom corner is uh, Dr. Fetus, which uh, I think is a character that has a lot of questions uh, inherent. <laughs> how, do, how does a fetus become a doctor? Uh, uh, yeah. Chief among them. Yeah. <laughs> what is this glass box that he lives in? Why does he have this dapper top hat? Mm -hmm. Why does he flick us off sometimes? Oh, does he? I didn't even notice <laughs> yeah, that yet. It should come up any second now in his okay. little visual loop. And is that um, a monocle, or is that... Oh, was he just doing a... Was, was, sorry, was he just doing a manual override uh, <laughs> oh. animation there? <laughs> what a sick reference, bro. Yeah. Your references are always off the charts. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> uh, flick us off, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna! Oh, there oh, he goes. Yeah, he likes stuff right. on flick and, us yeah, off. He's, he's happy. Oh, I thought that was... Just, okay, it's kind of a thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, it's coming, though. He's gonna um, flick us off. He, uh... What? So, huh? so he is permanently a fetus. Do you think... We should go ahead and go back to the game, I think. We've, right. we've seen enough here. He really does <laughs> It was probably off. immediately the next thing he would have done had yeah. I not said that. Um, do you think he is permanently a fetus, but has been alive long enough to get his doctorate? Like, as in, he's, he's like an adult now? Or, or you know, has lived years to becoming an adult, but has been trapped in that body? Or do you think he was born, or not born for that matter, as a doctor? Well, I think that goes back to the question of this post-apocalyptic world. Um, you know, <laughs> where does one get a doctor in a post-apocalyptic yeah. world? <laughs> yeah, does he just call um, himself doctor? Yeah. Where did Dr. Robotnik get it up? Presumably from one of the human cities that Sonic loves to hang out with. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, and also, you know, he seems to be a doctor in robotics. So that seems to be a, a real enough field. Um, <laughs> since he has armies of robots. Right. Oh my, this is, this is impossible. We cannot get away from talking about Dr. Robotnik, though. <laughs> you know, Sonic is a, is a game that has betrayed me in a deep way. Uh, oh my because god, I, yes. Sonic, I think more so than Mario in some instances was the platformer that I grew up with. Super Mario was definitely very big to me. Yeah, and don't, don't just stand around. Oh, it's, it's, but it's hard to talk. And... <laughs> you have to do both. Okay. That's your job tonight. Uh, Alright, anyways. But, you know, the original three were amazing. Uh, yes. And then the Dreamcast Heroes was amazing. Um, was it? See, because I don't even remember. Oh, it was. Really I don't weird. remember a Sonic that I seriously enjoyed on even the Even the first introduction of Shadow was actually pretty good. Oh, is that the first game he was in? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't um, realize. Before he got guns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, um... See, I, and I wonder if that's just an age thing, because Dreamcast came out when I was sort of pulling away from console games. Sure. And, and it hasn't really been discussed yet, but I don't play console games at this point in my life. Like, I play everything on PC. Mm -hmm. You still are majorly into console games, so maybe it's not even about age. It was just where I was in my life. I decided yeah. that PC games were where I wanted to put my investment. Well, I it's, uh, I bought the Wii because I had to have my Zelda game. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to get Twilight Princess, and I wanted it with Mojo Girls. I could have got it on GameCube. Yeah. But, um... You like uh, to just savor your victory when you get to that point. You keep oh, stopping no. when you land up there, and you're like, look at me. <laughs> it feels safe. Yeah. But, um, and I got the PS3 and the PS4 because there are a lot of exclusives that you can only get on PS4 consoles. Sure. Or PlayStation consoles, Uncharted and Journey and whatnot. And See, and I feel like I don't need those games if they're exclusive. Like, But you're wrong. Oh, I, man. I mean, Journey I want to play, but you're going to let me play it eventually. Yeah, um, I'll show you the world. <laughs> Shining shin. But going back to Sonic... Um, Tell me, princess. <laughs> I... I, I don't understand where that, what, what is, what, how, I mean, many people have kind of gone over this topic, right? Like, why is Sonic so bad? It yeah. just is shit. But. Well, rush deadlines are one of the biggest reasons. Have you Get seen. Get that game out there. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen the, the developer's notes or like post-mortem from Sonic Boom? Uh, and he was like, I think we made a pretty good game. Yes, I, I actually... <laughs> didn't I send you the podcast? You might have. You yeah, might have. he was on a Sega-oriented podcast where he's like, all these complaints, I still think we did a good job. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I wanted so bad for the guy to just be like, do you not realize that that's not true? <laughs> like, But obviously they wouldn't on a Sega podcast. They're going to have to be nice to him. And he seems like a cool enough guy, like the guy who was on that podcast the producer i think he was except that he said i think sonic's been fast too much and he needs to be not so fast <laughs> yeah. you yeah. know that defining shtick yeah exactly we wanted a game that sonic wasn't fast in uh, 
And Sonic Sonic Boom wasn't actually put out by Sega, was it? Uh, it was a third party. Maybe. I mean, Sega has their name on it, I'm sure, in some many ways. But uh, I think it was put out by a third party. Um, but it, it's just it's funny because you look at a game like this, which is an indie game, so it had no deadlines other than what the developer set for himself. Yeah. And it looks so good. Like, I mean, it controls well. Yeah, that's one thing I can say about it. For all the frustrations and the abuse that this game is, having played it a few times, it does control well. It does look polished. And it knows what its identity is, right? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a challenging platformer. Sonic Boom, what is that game? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It has all these different characters that play slightly differently, but does that really justify having these alternate puzzles that you have to have certain characters for? Like, It was just really weird. Oh boy, um, you have to get over this level so we don't get two episodes stuck on the same one. I am... I cannot. Wait a second. Oh, oh you had it! Okay, oh, I man. I can do this. I think I just misjudged the way I needed to jump on it. Mm. Um, so as long as I don't kill myself on this fan... Yeah, that's gonna happen now. Uh, yeah. Now you've just asked yourself to die horribly. Um, what would be the worst way? I think getting split apart into a thousand pieces. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a terrible... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think perhaps the most infuriating thing about Sonic Boom was the uh, bandages on Sonic's feet. Ooh, you almost, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, what are they there shoes. for? Like, yeah. Gotta protect my shoes. They got hurt yeah. from me running so slow. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's still supposed to be a fast character, even though the world is slow. You know, that, that game engine t makes you be slow, but. Yeah, he is supposed to be fast. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, the game starts on that typical Sonic track, mm -hmm. and that's the last you see of that. Because mm. everything else is this, like, Banjo-Kazooie, Spyro-style overworld. Yeah, well, the transition areas, like, when you go from area to area, you still get to do, like, a, a track. I, yeah. But you're so slow in it, and I, I only, look, again, because I don't play the console games... The, I sound like an old person. I don't play the Nintendo, <laughs> so I don't know about your Sonic. But <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog is that like Donkey Kong? Yeah. But um, uh, I heard Donkey Kong killed Mario. Having watched other Let's Players play Sonic Boom, you can totally just stop your momentum in those already not very fast track modes. You can just turn around and stop. And then you can't get going fast again. Like, once you have stopped yourself, yeah, it's like, all right, now you're going to walk at regular speed. Good job for, you know, <laughs> playing oh a Sonic my, that game. Was so easy. Yeah, so easy. I am it so only dumb. took you 2.8 episodes. It's because I was trying to. I'm sorry, 1.8 1. 1. 1. episodes. I was trying to. I, I was just trying to clear the jump like a normal person and, uh, boss, Chad. Well, yeah, now. Oh, Chad. <laughs> No. Uh, now you're in the awkward position of having two minutes left in this episode. Do it! So you, guy... you have to start the boss. That Feels might like take chud. you 15 minutes. <laughs> Feels like a chud reference. Oh, really? C dot H dot A yeah. dot... Yeah. I, uh, I've never seen chud as iconic as that movie's supposed wow. to be. Maybe we'll have to do like a... Um... Let's watch. <laughs> no, because <laughs> we can't legally do that. But we could do a, uh, a chud and they live back-to-back -back feature. Oh. That might be a great double feature night at some point. Because I, th I feel like they go hand in hand in some ways, you know, as like the era uh, that they come from. Oh, it is Chud! Oh, it's a, it's a bloody meat Chud! Oh, wow. See, I've never seen it, so I don't even know the reference. Alright. Oh, no. How do I... I gotta get the key up my dirt. Because I thought Chud... I, on the cover, it's like little lizard people, right? Like, yeah. So, did they, they have a giant one in the sewers, I take it, or something? I'll let you see. Yeah. Because um, I remember also the sewer lid. But the speaking cover. of movies that you haven't seen that you need to see, what's the key? Uh, down. Oh. Here he comes. Oh, okay. And, oh, wow. I can't believe he missed I, you. Yeah. Oh. You lucked out big time. It's interesting. I like a, a boss level instead of just a boss fight. You know what I mean? Oh. Alright. Um, yeah. But yeah. I like when a boss is more than just a single oh, fight. Oh. Heaven forbid you touch blood. That will kill you. It's got hepatitis. Meat acid. <laughs> oh. oh no. Have you ever seen that thing on the internet um, that's like, describe humans as if you were an alien species? 
um, and somebody says they can survive for days even if after you shoot them <laughs> they, <laughs> they consume the flesh of other living things and have jaws powerful enough to crack bone <laughs> like, it's it's such an awesome like list of ways to describe humans in you know like and also talks about how like they even kill each other they're known to uh, construct weapons that have massively destroyed <laughs> huge portions of their planet um, and and it leads to the whole like why isn't there a horror movie a, a, like an alien space horror movie where humans are the villain you know for right. Stalking, terrifying. Oh, there was a. Get uh, off the key, damn it! I gotta wait here for a second. Oh, no, there, I don't. There was a um, animated movie where humans were the villain, and the aliens were like, you know, a culture of peaceful. But they did it to such an extreme where it was like, humans are clearly evil, and the aliens are just living just like human primitive humans would. Like they didn't live an alien enough culture, I think. Mm. Um, but still, an interesting idea. You know, to make humans the conquering race in a children's movie. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Have you seen Enemy Mine? Um, does not sound familiar. Oh, it's it's where these two fighter pilots, one's an alien, one's a human, get kind of caught on... Oh. This guy's got a really unpredictable pattern. They get caught on... It's, it's a really, like, cheesy 80s budget. Oh. Huh. Um, but it's so good! I, and I... Really good actor who plays the alien, but he's covered in makeup. I can't remember So you're, you're clearly struggling here, having not gotten the key again for a very long time successfully. What are you talking about? I, I right think you, you're down to your three lives before this becomes a boss fight level on the next episode. Can you do it? No! <laughs> <laughs> you still got two. You still got two. I like putting the, the pressure on you. Because it's oh. not me. <laughs> yeah. I like it when it's you and not me. Yeah. Oh man, this 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 movie boss discussion. It's uh it's working my brain when I need to be like in Focused. game mode, yeah. Yeah. Um because you said bosses and I was like, I wanna talk about Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, that's still a game I wish I hadn't right, seen the let's play let's of that more. sometimes. Yeah, oh I'm so disappointed um, that you have. Don't do okay, that's it. Alright. I, I I can't experience that game because I saw a let's play of it, and that's unfortunate. But it was a beautiful game. That's enough. Thank you guys for watching. Keep coming back. We'll keep producing episodes and uh, hopefully someday they'll be good. Subscribe <laughs> and find out. <laughs>